हेलो स्टूडेंट्स सो टू डेज टॉपिक वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट राउंड अबाउट्स ओके सो इन अवर प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी जस्ट डिड अबाउट द इंटरसेक्शन ऑफ जंक्शन सो नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज राउंड अबाउट्स एंड नेक्स्ट थिंग इज स्लिप लेन्स ओके सो दीज ऑल आर द थिंग्स वी आर गोइंग टू डू टूडे सो लेट वी स्टार्ट इट एंड फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी आर जस्ट गोइंग टू डू एज वी डिड इन प्रीवियस सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल विद द सोल डाटा आई एम जस्ट गोइंग टू क्रिएट अ सर्फेस ये सर ये सर एंड देन सेलेक्ट द सर्फेस एट विच यू वॉन्ट टू वर्क एंड द नेक्स्ट एंड फिनिश सर इज गोइंग टू टेक अ टाइम लिटल बिट here we got our surface so just double click with the scroll here we have our surface our surface so next thing just click on this and in a point cloud just go to add points to surface and with the region option and i just want to minimize the spacing in between them according to contour styles go to the region option with a window i'm just going to define the region at which i want to work so just on this region i want to work with and then next time finish so here we got the surface and uh, for the extra points in the boundary lines just click on this and edit point cloud style and just turn off the bounding box and points apply and okay. Here we got the required area, required surface at which we want to work. And next thing, I'm just going to turn off the object snap. And similarly, like we did in a junction, so I'm just going to create a with the help of polyline. I'm just going to create a alignment. So from there to there, uh, make sure auto is on. And here we got the first one, and similarly the second one. Okay, so here we got the two alignments. Okay, so next thing I'm just going to create alignment with them. So with the alignment, here we have option to create alignment from. Or again, click on this and enter here we got the direction of this. So similarly, <coughs> direction of alignment and then design criteria. Define about the speed at which you want to work. So 80 k's. Okay, here we got. Similarly, I'm going to create a second alignment also. Here we got the direction again in a design criteria. I'm going to define the speed. So it 80 k's. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Here we got the two alignments now. Next thing, I'm just going to intersection. Like in automatically junctions, I just told you. Uh, so similarly, we are going to do the same thing over there. over here so first of all intersection and create round about okay so just click on this and select the intersection like it's now it's not giving me any kind of snap over there to select the midpoint or the intersection point and so i'm just going to turn on my object snap and now it's going to show you so just select the intersection point and first of all approach roads so this road and this road we have two roads over there if you have more than two roads then we are going to select them at a once like if you have three or four roads are coming towards your intersection so we are just going to draw them like in this way okay and we are going to select them one by one in a approach so right now we have two roads i just selected both of them and then hit enter after selection so here we got the create roundabout circulatory road okay so outer radius first of all so you can see this one is the outer radius so while uh, you have so here you can see the outer radius okay so we have two options us or france with which you want to work with round about standards so i am working with the us so here i am going to select the radius it's a 20 so from here you can select it and here you can see the changes and circularity road width it's about 7 meters so you can increase it apron width you can see it these all are the things you can change it while you are going to draw on this number of lanes to mark you can increase it if you want to okay so similarly inner offset or line mark the width and the width of the line mark is a 300 mm or you can change it also similarly so it is none so we are just going to with this one next option 
next option is about this so here we got also a preferred parameter to import like here we have some radius mm -hmm. so I, if you want to change it you can change it like I just want a 20 and exit road width here you can see the exit road width always more than the inner one so here we have exit road width is 4.5 exit radius you can see it ok similarly exit flare length so these all things you can change it at yours so similarly you can change these all things over there also ok so here we have two options first of all north to south approach ok similarly west to east approach so i just want to apply these all changes to all so just click on apply to all ok and the next and similarly we have these options like cross box we have so this is and then rounding at exit and offset from the circle so you can change them all as you require ok here we have both options and i just want to apply to all so just click on this like i just want to change its radius and then apply to all and next finish it here we got the two roundabouts uh, roundabouts two links so just select them all if you want to delete select these information and link repair so just click on them at once and you just select similar option by click and click on to delete them all. so in this way we got the roundabout with two approach roads so like if you want to add approach roads over there over here and over here so you can add it with the help of in you know, intersection drop down just go over there here we have an option for add approach so just click on this and select the approach road like here we have the approach first of all circular area is going to ask you select the circle area so this is circle area and then approach road so we are just going to click on this and hit enter after the selection similarly all the things if you want to change it you can change them apply to all and then next similarly 20 apply to all next and then finish it so we got the another so just select them as i told you and with the select similar i'm going to delete them all at once and if you want to add approach lane over there also so similarly just go to add approach first of all select the circle area around which you want to add the approach room so just click on this and then select the approach and hit button again you can change all the things whatever you want to and then next then I'm going to change the radius by the wall and next finish and we got the third one and fourth one last select them with the right click select them and delete them all so in this way you got the approach roads or towards your roundabout next thing how we can add a slip lanes so slip lanes like if you want to go from this lane to this so this one is our entry lane and this one is our exit so now we are going to just apply a slip lanes so before we are going to apply the slip lanes first of all you just need to know we are going over there and add down slip, slip lane so just click on this and select the entry approach so which is your entry approach so just click on that Turning slip so this is our entry lane and this is our exit approach. So just click on this and again we are just going to add it with the OK. So here we got the slip. So just select them all at once and right click select similar and you can delete it. Similarly you can add it over there also. Okay. So how can we add it? Just click on this at the entry place. First of all, first of entry approach and then exit approach. You can see. Okay. There you go. So in this way you can apply a roundabout or slip line to any approach roads ok so just select them all at once right click select similar 
Yeah, in this video, we can apply a slip tense and approach your students. So, we're going to talk. This is all about today's class. We are going to learn new things. I accept you for your next videos. Thanks.